गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच साइंस फॉर स्टैंडर्ड थ्री चैप्टर थ्री प्लांट्स पार्ट्स एंड फंक्शन प्लांट्स पार्ट्स एंड फंक्शन द सी वन स्टोरी इज गिवेन ईयर वन स्टोरी ऑफ अ ब्यूटीफुल फ्लावर वन डे अ ब्यूटीफुल फ्लावर द फ्लावर नेम वॉज लिजी दिस लिजी she felt thirsty so it saw some roots sucking up water from the soil lizzy saw some roots this one sucking water from the soil now as it was sucking water from the soil a green stick was there this green stick what it was doing it was pulling the water up it was taking the water to the upward direction now the flower flew and sat on one of the branch now as it was taking water from the soil slowly slowly one day one flower sat on its green stick on its green stick one flower sat now as there is flower we can see one day lizzy once again she felt hungry now as she felt hungry she started growing leaves she started growing leaves where in the branches and these leaves what it helps in these leaves help to make the food for the plant for this beautiful flower lizzy after some time lizzy slowly turn into fruit now after some time as after few days this lizzy turn into fruit and when lizzy turn into fruit as it ripens it fell down on the ground and again one new tree one another beautiful flower tree grew up once again now see some questions are given now discuss the story of lizzy some questions is there as i have told you the story of lizzy you will be able to do this questions by yourself you try to complete this question by yourself what did lizzy use to suck water up from the soil what it took it took what roots what was the stick like object what is that stick like object that is what the stick like object it was the it was the green stick it was the branch third one what did stick like object do for lizzy it pulled water from the soil fourth which part did lizzy use to make food leaves from where did the new plant began to sprout from the beautiful flower now we will be discussing about parts of a plant what are the parts as we know mainly two parts are there of a plant one is shoot and the other is root one is shoot and the other is root this root where it grows it grows under the ground and shoot this shoot where it grows it grows above the ground and in this shoot we can find stem branches leaves buds flowers and fruit as you can see in the figure this is the root and this part that is above it is the fruit it is the shoot you can see different type leaves fruit flower everything in this now we'll be discussing about one part that is the root i told you where can we find the root this root is just below under the ground now these roots are again divided into two type one is tap root and the other is fibrous root tap root fibrous root tap root means what it has one main root see the yeah tap root carrot can you see the picture here carrot a one main root is here one main root and from this main root you can see many hair like tiny hair like structure growing around this a number of tiny roots grows from it plants such as mango mustard balsam carrot and neem have tap root next is fibrous root what is this fibrous root you can see a fibrous root onion here fibrous root are thin and bushy they grow from the end of the stem now see the stem at the end of the stem lot of hair like structure you can see in one place these are all what these are all fibrous root there is no main root you can we cannot find 
any main root like the tap root no main root is present in fibrous root example what grass rice wheat onion these are the example of fibrous root now function of the root what are the functions of the root root helps a plant in many ways first what roots hold the plant firmly to the soil it helps the plant to stand straight second thing roots absorb water and mineral from the soil roots it absorb water and minerals from the soil third one roots of some plant store food roots of some plant what they do they store food roots such as carrot radish and turnip are swollen as they have food stored carrot radish turnip we can see when we pull it from the ground we will see the edible part that edible part stores the food and we eat them as a vegetable or fruits the second part that is the stem as i told you the stem is found where it is found above the ground and the stem it has many things i told you it has fruits flower branches leaves trunk many things mango and neem tree have strong woody stem called the trunk you can see one figure this is the woody strong woody stem this is the trunk that is present in the stem some plant like grape vines and pea plant what they do not they do not have trunk they are very weak they are very weak they cannot stand by themselves they need support to stand upright now we will discuss about functions of the stem i told you functions of roots now function of stem the stem is useful to the plant in many ways first one it holds the plant upright and support branches what it does it holds the plants upright it helps the plant to stand straight and it helps the branches to catch on to the trunk second point stems bear flower fruit leaves and buds new flowers and leaves arises from the buds on the stem third one the stem spread out the branches and leaves so that the leaves get maximum sunlight to prepare food we have seen the mango tree neem tree banyan tree we have seen lot of leaves scattering here and there the stem spread the branches next one it carries water and minerals from the root to the other part of the plant what it does it carries water and minerals from the roots and from the root it is transported to the entire part of the plant next point the stem also carries the food prepared by the leaves to different parts of the plant the stem i told you it contain leaves now these leaves what it does it prepares food and the prepared food is carried to different part of the plant next stems of sugarcane potato and ginger are thick as they store food in them store food in them sugarcane potato ginger they are edible we eat this stem and last one the stem of some plant also helps in reproduction the stem of some plants also helps in reproduction